Hey folks, welcome to Hoosier Ho. Out here in the early evening and probably not in the best of moods this tonight or today or the last couple days because we have uh, discovered the hard way that we have been invaded by deers in our garden. Now we've been, in the past, had all kinds of other little critters, rabbits and groundhogs and pretty much have figured out a way to keep them away from everything. But with all of the stuff that we've planted now, the sweet potatoes, the beets, the corn, the green beans, um, everything that was down low, protected by the low covering nets was good. But as of now, the deers have been in and they have caused a mess and have wreaked havoc on the garden. So not in the best of moods, a little angry. Um, so I am dressed like this because as of this evening, it's over. So I'm just kidding guys, just kidding. But anyways, I wanted to uh, come out here and share with you what we've discovered. Again, as I said, we have a bad deer problem and they have just pretty much destroyed my garden. And I'm angry. Now everybody thinks when they get the deers that oh, they're so cute and they're, you know, nobody wants to hurt Bambi and I don't. I would never shoot a deer would never shoot any animal, but I will say that it's very frustrating. It's disheartening. And sometimes I feel like just throwing in the towel and saying, oh, just forget it because they've, they've eaten everything. But, um, so we've been working and working and working and trying to figure out a way to keep them from getting to everything. But I want to show you what we've got so far and then kind of what our plan is for the next few days and weeks. So follow me and I want to show you the damage. So come on down this way. These are my bush beans, and as you can see, we've had them covered up. We actually started the whole season with a net at the bottom. These are kind of weighing it down, but we had a net all the way around the perimeter, and it's kept the rabbits off, it's kept groundhogs, squirrels, everything off. But what's happened is the deers have came out here, and they have started eating everything. These are my pole beans. So these actually climb up. So you can see where I had a net wrapped around this here. Well, where I didn't get and where the vines have started coming out of the net, look, they plucked every single leaf off. Every one of them. Look, nothing, got nothing. Now their blooms are still there. They don't eat the blooms. I don't even know. I guess they like the leaves, but they've eaten them pretty good. So. You come around this way follow me you can see they've eaten them eaten them eaten them come underneath the harbor here and you can see like where they've eaten them right here and it's just a matter of time before they reach up here and start getting well you can see man they must be huge because they've gotten some up here some over here and look so one of the things that we've done, you see this little thing hanging here, looks like a leg or a foot that somebody cut off. It's a bar of soap. It's Irish spring soap inside a stocking. It smells awful. I don't know. I hope you don't use Irish spring soap because it doesn't smell good. But anyways, this is one of the things that we read is supposed to kind of deter the deers. Don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a shot. But if you come on this way, you can see where I've got net over the top of this. But what they've done, they've come in here and they take their nose and they push this off the top. They just kind of root in there and they've, look, look they just ate them all. I mean, I've, they don't eat the bean because the beans are down here. I've got beans, but they eat the leaves. So if they get these early enough, it kind of ruins your crop, but we're hoping that it pulls out. So come on down this way. You can take a look. It just, it's horrible. It looks awful. I'm almost ashamed to show it. But the, the deers have just, they just got everything. So, you come around this way. Now, they don't bother squash plants. So, my zucchinis are fine. They look good. There's little pretty prickly stickers on there. So, they don't really mess with those much. So, those are good. Now I've got more pole beans down here. I started a new batch. Look, ain't it pretty? <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. They just 
just got them. Now what happens is they come out in the evenings. They come out at dusk. Now we've been kind of trying to keep an eye out for them. So I was out on the back deck the other night at about 10 or 10.30. It was dark, so I wasn't gonna walk out here. But I looked out here and I kind of had a flashlight. And on the other side of my fence there in my neighbor's yard, I seen these little eyes looking at me and I, they were fairly high up above the fence and then it took off because it heard me up there rustling around. So I know what they're doing is they're coming. We actually live in the city, but we're kind of on the outskirts of the city. So back behind us, you can see there's woods and stuff. So they, they're coming and I, I don't blame the deers. They're hungry. They're just doing what deers do. I mean, I can't blame them. And you know, I would never harm one or anything. I'd like to scare them to death so that they didn't come back. But um, it's disappointing, man, when you lose when you lose everything. And it's like I tell Rob, I'm like, I'm just forget it, I'm done. But I'm not gonna throw in the towel yet. So we've worked on numerous things. So if you come back here, you have to walk carefully when you go through my back gate because another thing that we tried was fishing line. So if you look here. We've got three little, not little, but long strands of heavy fishing line. And we put this up, I would say, two to three weeks ago before, when we kind of first seen that they were chomping on my leaves. And uh, they, they're jumping it, they're clearing it. Because it goes all the way along my back fence and all the way up my side yard. So all the way around the perimeter of my garden. But they're, they're, they're clearing it. They're just jumping over the top of it, so. Now out in the field here, I've got my vine garden, and in the middle of the vine garden, we planted some sweet potatoes. Now, it's been raining here forever. It's finally starting to dry out, so it's full of weeds, the vines are. But we actually managed to get in here and work on the sweet potatoes. What's left of the sweet potatoes? So if you take a look over here, I've got a whole row, a whole lot of nothing there. But if you take a look at my net, we had a, we had a net over here and we had it going kind of up and over the top and down, kind of like a, a lid, if you will, on it. But it actually came off of this side. So you can see where the deer went down that row there where the net was not. And they just, they ate it all. They ate it all. Now we're hoping that the sweet potatoes underneath the ground will pull through and we'll get some. But I don't know. This is ugly. But now if you look over here, they got some of them, but some of them they haven't got to because this net, if you see, it's almost like a hoop house over the top of it. So that's, that's the plan to kind of keep all of these covered up. And then along the sides, I'm not really worried about getting a lot of squash off of this. I just wanted them there for the stickers. So when the weeds grow up in there in the squash, I'm not too concerned about it because can't eat that many squash but the it kind of provides a barrier on the sides so come on back up this way now a cornfield out there and take a look at that <laughs> we've discovered another problem out there now we have birds <laughs> birds are eating the corn we had deer too so we had um we had the squash all the way around there if you watch my three sisters garden you see why the squash is around there and the radio's going out there but we've been noticing something eating the corn, the actual corn cobs. And uh, Rob just walked out there a few minutes ago and walked up to the cornfield and birds just flew right off the corn cobs. So robins, I think he said. So how do you stop birds? Who do, you know, what are you gonna do? So again, we have fishing line going around the garden. We took these aluminum pans. I got my, well, my, a broken hawk here but anyways we got these little pans here aluminum pans hopefully they make a little bit of noise we put a couple of live traps down here because when we first started seeing the cobs being eaten we thought maybe they were squirrels getting in there and we were going to catch them and just release them somewhere else but look at my corn cob there see just chomp the heck out of it so on down here we just ran the fishing line all the way uh, all the way around it. The only coach I would have played football. And then and just thought, put these aluminum pans all the way around it. This is my makeshift scarecrow. Side, How about that? That's scare anybody. 
Anyways, we'll see if it works. But all along the edges here, they've eaten the corn. All eaten the corn cobs. And even back in there, I, you know, we probably aren't going to get a whole lot. But you can see them corn cobs. They're about destroyed. But it's just not ready to pick yet. So what, you know, other than put a net over the entire thing. I don't know how you keep the birds away. So we'll see what happens. So we are like in the forest here with all of the animals. So it's just getting a little, a little irritating. But um, we're going to keep plugging the way. So got a couple more things I want to show you up here. And then I want to show you an example of how we think we may, may be able to solve the deer problem. If not, then I'm just going to open up my backyard and feed them for the heck of it and have people come visit them, I guess. So duck down under the fishing line. I'm going to show you over here real quick. My sweet potatoes. They love sweet potato leaves. You can see here, they push the net back off of this and just, they just ate them all. I don't know. So, fishing line, we've tried the Irish Spring soap. Um, the net around it obviously does not work. I want to show you their, their paw prints real quick. It's kind of interesting. So, we planted a couple of new beds of beans, and we haven't covered them up yet. But they're starting to come up. But they must not like them because look what they did. They stepped over this net, chopped in there, and then went over and ate my pole beans. So they must not like them when they're this small. They must need to get a little bit bigger before they taste good. I don't know, but if it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna stop them from eating those. So let me show you our new trick. So before, for the small animals, we always had our PVC pipes on the corner and we had a net, a foot, a, like a 12 inch net going all the way around the perimeter. And it has worked like a charm great and uh, kept all the small animals out but not the deer so what we're doing we've got the pipes again we made them a little taller so these are and on my next video I'm gonna give some actual instructions about how to do this but the, the poles are taller and then what I'm doing is since this is like a 12 foot bed I had to put a brace in the middle as well but we got our net and we just basically draped it across the top and then down the sides and then on the sides we hook it so that the deers can't come in here and push it up there with their nose and go underneath there but all you have to do to be able to get in there and weed or cultivate whatever you want to do is take your hoosier hoe or whatever and just lift this up and then you can take your hoe and weed down underneath there and do everything you need to do without taking it all apart so you can easily reach with your hoosier hoe all the way to the middle of your bed. Do what you need to do. Put it back down. Hook it on your hooks so them deers don't get in there. And then go ahead and say, do the same thing on the other side. So, this is the first one that we've tried. And as you can see, my beans, some of my beans have came up, some haven't. So, we just planted these a couple days ago. And then we've got two more beds that we're gonna do this to. So, in the next video, I'm gonna actually give you the instructions on how to do this, if you so choose to. So simple to do um, and if, if, if you guys don't want to do it or you don't have the time or the means we'll figure out a way for you guys to purchase one but I'll give you more details about that later so I'm gonna get ready he's whispering to me what yes make sure you guys hit the like button I knew to say that he just jumped in and told me I was gonna do it I swear make sure you guys hit the like button share this with your friends and uh, subscribe to us so we will be back after we work with these deers here, and um, you guys take care. See you later.